Welcome to the League of Legends Figure Spotlight, and today we're going to be unboxing the first ever duo set box from Riot. This has Zaya and Rakan both together when you purchase it. It's a little bit more than a single figure, but it's totally worth it because you get two of them. Now, it totally makes sense that you get both of these together, just because in the skin of this character, it's actually both of them. They work together. They are, I guess, they're, they're partners forever. They help each other. And when you buy this, you get both of them. Just makes sense. So, anyways, we're going to be unboxing this. I've already opened the box. So, I will open the box to show you the card and what it comes with when you when you do open it. But, we'll do the, we'll check out the box first. And then we will go into the figures itself. So, we'll go ahead and start with the front. So, on the front of the box, um, you have a, it's a little bit longer so you'll see both figures and what it's going to look like just like on a single box You'll just see this right here, but you have both. So we'll start with a Zaya here um, Number four series three and is a duo so that means both of these are considered number four in the series three set But you do get two figures, which is pretty interesting Now you do get all this gold just like the other sets or other figures um, so you have all that same design. You have the League of Legends logo up here. Then you have Rakan and what the figure is going to look like over here. So On the top here, we have the Series 3 with the logo here with a Zion Rakan. The, the Charmer and the Rebel. So the Rebel is Zaya and the Charmer is uh, Rakan. So I feel like they should have flipped it around. But either way, same thing. They are together and this is actually how it is on the skin. But there you go. So those are the that's the top. Let's go on to the side. You can see him pointing out, trying to either grab her or save her, depending on what he's doing, I guess. But he's always there to protect her. Um, so you can see here number four, series three, duo. You got the League of Legends logo. On this side would be Zaya over here. Number four, series three. And this, she looks like she's getting ready to attack. Like, seriously. I mean, she can get kind of scary if she's fed. So, on the back, League of Legends logo. Series three, kind of like a pink or purple um, look over here. It's for ages 14 plus, just like the other figures. And then on the bottom, if you do want to purchase this yourself, merch.riotgames.com. This was designed in California. Let's see if it was designed anywhere else besides China. It is made in China. So, right there. So, go ahead and open this up. So, it comes in this very long plastic protective case, which is pretty normal for these figures. Uh, just a little bit bigger one for this set and you can see the plastic in there so they are wrapped in a form of plastic to keep it even further protected while it's being shipped to your house so this is the card that comes with it you know i was expecting there might be two of them but no it's one which makes sense still so uh, like i said before on some of my other videos these cards were typically from series one and series two sets they were all black they just had a code um, with a riot figures logo these are more personalized to the champions now and it's a lot easier to tell which card goes to which figure because it actually tells you series 3 duo 04 and even has their names there and then on this side is where the skin is based off of so you can see they're always both together you see in the original skin as well and so you can see a card of authenticity this just means that you can take this code and verify this is a real product from riot on the website itself so just pretty cool how they are, and it's a very nice uh, card. They're not, it kind of feels like a credit card. It's probably the best way I can explain it. It's very, it's got some thickness to it. It's not like a, uh, like a Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon card. It's very thin or flimsy. So, but anyways, that's the card. Pretty cool. So let's get, let's, let's go ahead and do the figures now. So we have Zaya and Rakan, and. They were actually pretty cool figures, especially if you have them next together. I kind of wish they could have like designed both of these to where like you could take both of them and put them together and they did something. Um, that would have been very like genius-like, but I'm not sure how much that would have cost more or what. Or maybe they were originally designed separately and you just put it into two, you know. Because like you can see like he's like trying to like, hey, I'm coming for you. And she's like, no, I'm running away. 
but where she's like, no, I'm going to attack. And he's like, no, don't do it. You're going to die. And so either way, um, they, it would have been really cool if they could have made it to where they can merge or separate at the same time. So we'll start with uh, Zaya. And we'll start with the top and work our way down. Very lot of colors here. Um, one of my favorite parts is this. And then also down here, this little, looks like a little leaf bowl. <laughs> I'm not sure. But there's just some details in the stands that I like. So we'll start with the, the top. So this here looks like a hoodie of some sort, right? Um, then you can see like her ears coming out of it. And some cool little details of little white lines up at the top and tip of the ears. And you can kind of see there's also hair kind of coming out. Now there's no different shades of colors here. It's all one color. Same thing with the hair here. It's all one color in red. So this is actually a kind of a purple. I'm not sure if it shows it as a blue, but it's a very like darkish, either dark, dark purple blue or just kind of like a very matte purple, I guess you can say. Um, you can see she's holding her feathers that she throws when she's attacking, which is pretty cool here. Um, her armor, her outfit's always pretty cool as well. But my favorite part is the feathers here, which is awesome. I just love how it changes colors from here to the purple. It's actually pretty cool. The stand's very detailed as well. Like I said, this right here is like a very highlight to it, to this figure to me, just because it stands out so much. It's like an orange and yellow. So it's pretty cool. And this looks like a little nest, but I'm not sure if that's true. But it's, there's a piece of like a, a bark or a tree here growing. And that's probably just part of the uh, theme of the stand. So yeah, that is uh, Zaya there for you, and hopefully that gives you a great idea about this figure if you decide to purchase it. Um, too bad you can't just buy this one, you do have to buy both. So if I remember correctly, it was only like $10 or $15 more to get both. Um, but, but yeah, if you're a Zaya main and this is something you would love to have, now I would totally recommend it. So let's move on. Rakan, the support champion. And there's a lot of colors here, just like hers, but she seems, I mean, he kind of looks more like, uh, more, a little bit more colorful than she does. She seems a little bit more darker. But let's we'll start with the top and work our way down. We've got the part of his uh, bangs, I guess you can say, are red. Um, there's a slight different shade of red here where it's like a dark red, which is cool. On his ears, instead of hers being like the white tip, he has some like red coloring, which is kind of interesting. Um, his hair does have multiple color. Um, it's kind of like a blonde design with some darkness right there. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, there's some kind of like, I guess you can say, shadowing of the hair, which is good. I mean, it's pretty detailed. Going to the face, got some bright green eyes. Got black eyebrows, which is very interesting. Looks like a Kali's weapon. Um, and then you have like these little whiskers, I guess you could say, and then he's got a little like beard. So, um, you got this pretty interesting like small cape. That's what I'm gonna call it, a small cape. Looks like a, a sun on the back or a half sun. Um, so it's got metallic gold outlining with the red. Then you got to his um, arms. Look at that. Look at how his fingernails are even painted a different color detail. So it's the same thing on this side too. They forgot to paint one of his fingernails. I am mad. Report. Rip. Anyways. Um, got a little skull here with blue hair coming off of it, so that's kind of interesting as well. And then you have even more skulls right here with uh, tied to his, uh, on his pants here. His pants are green. And then he's got like bird foot. And then he's on the, he's kind of on the same kind of I guess terrain that she is, but he is on the uh, like a stump or a piece of wood of some sort. That same design is on here as well. It is right here. So, so at least they have some similarities in design on the stands. She she has his oh that's his feather, and then she has her feathers. That doesn't make sense because she's going another way. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to get his feather back. <laughs> but you can see the same feathers and colors in here. It's very like rainbowish like. 
um, coming from him starting from like a red to an orange to a yellow to a yellow green to a tealish maybe blue on the end here but it is pretty cool even like on the bottom it's all painted and very cool looking so but anyways there you go that's Rakan so if you're Rakan main and you don't like Zaya, but if you you still have to purchase this as a set to get both, I think it's actually worth it. I think it's like forty some dollars with tax plus shipping, so I think it's worth it. You'll get two figures in for it, and um, they're both great figures and detail wise. And if you're a League of Legends fan, both of these are awesome. If you're a main for both of these or one of these each, you need to get it. And uh, hopefully this video helps you make that decision. Uh, write down in the comments below if you have this figure or if you've already bought it or if this helped you buy this figure. Um, also, if you have any questions, write it down below. Um, please uh, like this video, subscribe, and even press the notification so you get my future updates on my videos. I do plan to do all the series refigures when they come out. Um, so, anyways, thanks for watching everyone. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the Summoner's Rift, and peace.